What's up guys, Devil Dog Gamer here. We are playing some U-Boat. If you've been watching the streams lately, you know we've been playing the hell out of this. We had uh, last night where we did six patrols and ended up getting stuck on the coast of Britain and getting depth charged at shallow range until six of my crew members somehow made the sub survive and we were able to get home. So I decided to start a new one. This is the Living U-Boat mod, uh, which adds more patrols, crazier air patrols, uh, German ports can get bombed by the British, etc. We're also using the anti-sonar coverings that was our experimental for the U-boats, which reduces sonar by 10%, but it's 1939, and we don't have to worry about that right now. Um, so this is a fresh start. We're taking the U-boat out. This is a, um, a U-boat simulator mixed with a crew management simulator. And we've played this a long time ago. Uh, me and Fly both got early access to it. And since then, it's come a long way. And it's a lot of fun. So we're going to go and actually check our supplies before we get our mission and see what we got. Take a look. Mm, I don't think we'll need... Oh, we already have uh, potassium absorbers. Cool. I don't have to unlock those. Gangster. Torpedoes. We're still moving torpedoes in there. Okay. All right, let's go take a patrol mission from Admiral this guy. Is deeply impressed by these current orders from headquarters. Current orders, Belfast Harbor. No, that's that's a little too much. We get a new radio officer for it though. Patrol sector AF, nothing happens up there. Oh my god. And a war correspondent will come with us. I guess we're going up into uh stop the uh Alright. It's a weird spot, but sure. What do you need, officer? Um, I want them to actually load the torpedoes. Once they load torpedoes, we'll be able to take more with us, but I am going to grab a few more right now. Okay, the war correspondent's going to join us. Fifteen hours of off-duty. Uh, let's actually go and talk to the war correspondent. Uh, who should be close? Alfred's loading, and I don't know what the fuck he's doing, to be honest. Where's the word correspondent at? Ah, there he is. Welcome aboard. We have to talk to him every once in a while. Uh, let me just double check these torpedoes set up. Take a look. Because I think we did load. Yeah, we loaded a bunch. Okay, so let's load some more. I don't want to do the stern, because the stern's just such a weird one to aim, to be honest. Alright, one more day of off-duty, and we are ready to roll. Alright, so we are going to get us out of here. Uh, let's zoom into where we are. Keel Harbor. Looks like just a straight shot. Very foggy, though. Alright, so we'll turn on diesel motors on, Ford 1. Oh, there's another sub here. Wow, it's the first time I've seen another sub here. Uh, and we'll have the guy playing cards talk to the war correspondent. Wherever the fuck he went. Where's the war correspondent hanging out in here? There he is. Five ballast tanks. Okay. Uh, turn on the searchlight there, bud. Do we not have a searchlight on here? Get out of here. Oh, I was about to say, I'm like, dude, I know we have it. There we go. This will help us in the fog kind of navigate out of here. Because I want to speed this up. Okay, let's speed it up just a little bit. U236. Oh, another U boat in. Wow. U boat spotted. We have a very long journey, too, so it's kind of like, Bleh. But that spotlight's definitely helping us with navigation in the fog. Even though you're not supposed to turn on lights in the fog, it just makes everything worse. Oh, yep, yeah, U-boat's going to sea. U-2-3... U-323 is going to see with us. Not really with us, but at the same time, we're all patrolling out. Uh, let me go back to him. So he can go talk to this guy. Yes, 
Eh, the food stored next to the toilet. They're gay. Okay, and we're gonna go to C. We have a very long way to go. North Sea and the Norwegian Sea. And we'll patrol up around here. Cool. So, let me actually go to this him so he can turn off this damn light. Captain, turn off the lights! There we go. And then... Skipper? Yes. The war correspondent wants to know more. Sparrows Ghost Friday Aircraft Navigation. He's a brave man coming with us. Once we get out to the sea, we'll be able to travel faster. It's just going to take us a little while. And he wants to talk again. Ugh. Hopefully this is the last question he asks and he lets us get on with our work. Alright, now we're in travel mode, so now we can really start hauling ass. Ah, uh, of course we slowed down near the port. Well, for our first war patrol, this might be an interesting one, to be honest. Not much really happens up here. You might have to just dive and listen with the hydrophone and see what happens. There we go. Now we're in travel mode. Cool. Chimney smoke. Small group. Halt. Turn around. Yes, sir. Go for an intercept course. see what we got. It's not in our patrol zone, but if we can take a quick ship, might as well. Turn towards it a bit. There we go. Transport. Group of three. Alarm. Take your positions. Let's go down to periscope depth. Yeah. Okay, let's get the radio man Skip on the hydrophone. Skip up. Switch to electric motors. Yeah. Electric motors. I'm gonna stop about right here. Stop. We're Actually, down. slow forward. There we go. Actually, stop. We gotta let them get a little closer. Okay, right about there. Switch to the captain. We're gonna go to manual mode. Where the fuck are these ships at? See. Should be like right on top of us about now. There we go. Okay, let's lock him. Alright, we'll do the time timer real quick to figure out their speed. Start. Oh, we already have a shooting solution for him. Really? Why? Why would we already have a... I didn't even do anything, but we have a shoot solution. I guess because he's so damn close, it's easy. Oh, we just need to figure out the bearing for him. Well, Captain, thanks for the help. 
So let's go over here, figure out the bearing for this second ship. Wait, did you already fig- Fuck, man. Yeah, he's 100% on him. Dude, Captain! You're good. Alright, well, let's open up torpedo tubes. Flood, Flood tube one! Flood tube one. I was gonna do it manually, because usually it's faster, but for some reason, the Captain just- I guess I put him in the good spot. He did him, did it himself. Fire. Fire. Blood, Blood two. two. I mean, this doesn't really account much for our mission, but fuck it. Free, uh, free kills. Fire. that before I forget and we're like oh, I'm like oh, I have all these points out in the middle of nowhere looks like good hits all around eh, I don't know that one looks like might be a miss yeah that's a miss wow nice job captain nope he, he fucked it up Interesting. Well, let's see what happened there, guy. Calculate torpedo course. He's eighty percent with him. Calculate He's forty-six percent. Torpedo course. Okay, now we got good shoot solutions on them. So, try this again. One, two, three. Yeah, kind of wasted torpedoes now, but it's okay. Fire! I should have just done it manually and just not relied on that at all, because it looked good, but it wasn't. At all. Get a hit. It's a hit. Minimal damage. Minimal damage. Ooh, he stopped. Surface the boat. He's got some damage. All right, let's go ahead and surface. Get the deck gun out. Blow the tanks. <clears throat> Honestly, I gotta switch him back to diesel and start moving forward a little bit. Switch to diesel engines. Use 88. I do have to use this in manual mode because they suck ass with this. Ain't gonna lie about that. Yep, so do I. Also incredibly hard to use. Nice. Oop, way over. One more. Alright, fuck that. Get him back on the con tower, to be honest. Uh, we sunk somebody, get him on the radio, so we can call that one in. Let's 
see what the health is, if that thing's actually sinking or not. Nope, it's not. Fuck it, man. Let's just go, I guess, waste another torpedo on it. Why not? Calculate torpedo course. Fire one more, I guess. Fire. Now it's gonna die. Honestly, that was stupid on my part to even do that shit. We we wasted a lot of torpedoes that we could have used for something else. Uh, we gotta turn on the electric compressor. How's that thing not even close to being? Oh, there it goes. Now she's sinking. Now she's sinking. She's sunk. Okay, cool. Transmit that. And then we'll move out. Back on our patrol. Next time we'll just do manual mode. <laughs> That automatic one did not help us whatsoever. Our air compressors, ballasts are almost full again, which I'm pretty sure they just turned off. Yeah, we're not losing anything, okay. Oh, I think we sunk enough to there. Now all we gotta do is patrol around here. So we did sink enough tonnage, we didn't do it in the patrol sector, but Ooh, two to four, and a big group of chimney smoke. Okay. Call that. Now, which way are they going? Another freighter. Okay. Let's go periscope depth. Move for an intercept course. Electric. Switch to electric motors. We're slowing down. Let's get the radio guy Periscope over here to hydrophone to make sure they don't have an escort. It's 1939. I don't really think they're gonna have too much in the way of escorts at this point in time. Do this. Skipper, I've detected a ship. Really? No shit. Did you really find a ship? Yep. I can't really. Uh oh, because I'm a dum dum. That's why. <laughs> I went the long way around. Alright, we'll try manual mode this time around to see what we got. Usually I'm pretty good with manual mode, but I have messed up a few times. So, we might just have to do the patrol and then dip out kind of thing. Why am I having trouble with this? There we go. There we go. Alright. He's already been identified. Let's see, it had it as nine kilometers an hour. Well, 
Let's see if that's pretty realistic to what we get. kilometers an hour. Okay. Let's do the ranging. One kilometer. And then now we just need to figure out distance and the bearing. So bearing for us eighty nine. Okay, and then all we gotta do is just kind of go through each and every single ship and do the same thing. It's all the same stuff, 10, 89. The only thing that's gonna be different is the speed, is the distance, so. Ten, okay, unlock. Where's the last ship, there it is, okay. His angle to us might be different though. 10. And that looks like a bigger liberty. Uh, distance. Could be a little farther than us, okay. Yeah, his his bearing might be completely different though because he's a little off shoot, off shoot almost. About 91 for him. Okay. Cool. Okay, we got shoot solutions on everybody. So let's go ahead and fire on the farthest first. Why? What happened? Why don't you fire on him? There we go. Blood 2.1. It's going to be a weird shot. It's a very off angle shot. 2.1. Fire! There he is, okay. Flood tube two. Fire! Flood tube three. Okay, this should be the money shot. Fire. And they'll just have to pick off anybody who's left over after this. Uh, let's go ahead and just remove these before I forget. Nope, oh, that one missed. Well, we're gonna get one good hit. Two hits. That was such an off angle shot that, to be honest, this one's probably gonna miss to be honest yep it did damn well let's see what the manual targeting can have for him or not the manual the automatic calculate to calculate torpedo course tube two loaded one two one He's no, he's taking on. He's listing hard. Fire! I think I got. I guessed these speeds wrong. Their speeds were different from that one, and I assumed they were all going the same speed because I'm an idiot. So. Eighty-five. Minimal damage, dude. That thing lifted out of the ground, out of the water. We need to go down to our engine room now real quick to get the filters going. Skipper. The ventilations. It's a 
major hull damage. Yeah, we're gonna have to fire one more torpedo into that one, it looks like. Have to go to the sink. Yeah, we're running out of torpedoes. We haven't even done our patrol sector yet. Fire. He's gonna go down now. Okay, let's go ahead and surface the boat. Two are down. Switch to diesel engines. Let's get him Get him on the radio so we can get some points. We're calling this in. I can't believe that one's still up. Calculate torpedo course. Blood tube two. Tube two, ready. Fire! Go ahead and just calculate this one. Finish that one off too, real quick. Blood tube three. Tube three, bloody fire. Looks like all a swing and a miss. Yep. Get you on the deck gun, Cap. We're out of torpedoes anyway, so. Oh no. I'm minimized. My bad. Um, so yeah. Fucking. I jacked that up, and these guys take a lot more torpedoes than the normal version, so. They definitely, usually one torpedo would sink them, and now all of a sudden they're like, crazy powerful. Just gonna have to sink this sucker. Actually, I'm, I'm switching to HG, it might be a little more easier. Things are super unarmored. And once it catches on fire, it's game over anyway, so. Right here for the supplies. Maybe we might be able to set something on fire there. Nope. Oh, she's sinking hard now. Hall breached. They're sinking. One more shot. Yep, Empire Lorenzo sunk. Back up to your spot there, Captain. Cool. Look at her go. And there she goes. The other one escaped. I'm not really worried about it, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, what we gotta do is just kinda patrol around for a little while. Um, and we should be good. We'll return to port. Just ignore everything that we can. Escape up. Turn that, turn that on. Then we gotta get this guy to turn the vents off. Yeah, we have like no more torpedoes, so this is kind of annoying. <laughs> Turned off the compressor themselves. Cool. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. 
We'll just continue on this path. Full speed. We can go to Bergen once we're done. To refuel and stuff. I don't think I... Yeah, I can get more torpedoes. I just can't get a new mission. I probably... Yeah, let's actually just go to Bergen real quick. We can get more torpedoes there. So at least can have a reason for... I don't know. More enemy contacts. Don't really give a shit. Uh, well maybe we'll be able to get that other U-boat out there if we report the position. He might actually go for it. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we'll go to Bergen, get more torpedoes. And the journalist is out there taking pictures and stuff still. Yeah, we didn't even get a chance to complete our patrol before we were just... Look at all this fjords, oh my god. Trodenheim. I don't know, we might be able to get it, just might be able to, a friendly port to refuel instead of getting torpedoes. You never know. You never know. Come on, move us a little faster there, gay. Wow, oh, another transport? Jesus. Alarm. Take your positions. Dude, there are a ton of freighters running around here. I don't think any of them are armed by now, but they sure do see me, and they're doing the zigzag. Kind of shallow zigzag, so not really doing much. Transport spotted, get some more. Those guys are probably like, oh my god, it didn't shoot us. Thank the Lord. Did you imagine if we had to do this kind of traveling in real time? I know there are guys who play Silent Hunter and they do all the traveling in real time across the Pacific. That shit would be crazy. Oh shit! Planes, 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 planes! Periscope deck. Oh shit, they're bombing Bergen! Switch to electric motors. Holy shit! Back on the surface. The Switch to diesel engines. Triple A still shooting at him. Those birds are planes. Those are birds. I don't even see the planes. A neutral port because I could sink some of their shipping right here. That'd be hilarious. Cheap, but hilarious. We're slowing down. There ain't no way I'm making that. Nope. We just crashed. We're awesome. Slowing down.
<laughs> you gotta love the pathfinding around here, man. Oh god. Uh, we can recruit from here. What's Warehouse. I need Take more torpedoes, good sir. Maybe a bit more food, too. Are they doing high altitude bombing and that's why? off. Cool. Alright boys, so we're gonna we're gonna leave it off here in the port of Bergen. Reloading and ready to go. And if you guys want to see some more U-boat, let me know in the comments below. Talk to you guys later. Peace.